The mesoderm of body segments, called somites, differentiates into a number of organs and structures. This will be a transversal section through the embryonic body, showing the spinal cord, the neural crest, the notochord, the dorsal aorta, the intestine and the mesenteries, and the body cavity. And more importantly, there is a po huge population of mesoderma here close to the to the body axis, to the central organs. This is called paraxial, paraxial segmental mesoderm. It splits into several pop cell populations. One of these, the most uh, on, on the on, on the surface, the closest to the body body surface, is called dermatome. Then we got another population called myotome, and there is a sclerotome. Temporarily, there is even a small cavity inside the somite. So let's label the scheme. body segments of uh, the paraxial mesoderm are called somites. This is one of the somites. Uh, we got uh, many somites. The somites uh, can be uh, visible between the embryonic day 20 to 30 and we got uh, all together we got 42 to 44 pairs of somites namely four occipital that will incorporate into the basis of the skull eight cervical sorry cervical once more Well, we got eight cervical uh, somites, but only seven um, uh, cervical vertebrae. But again, eight uh, cervical spinal nerves, because the first uh, spinal nerves uh, goes above the first cervical vertebra, and the last, the eighth cervical nerve, goes below the body of the seventh vertebra. Then we got 12 thoracic. Somites, five lumbar, five sacral, and eight to ten coccygeal somites. Not all of these are present uh, at the same times. Uh, they are formed and they are gradually remodeled and undergo uh, further development, as we will show. There are some peculiar, 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 peculiarities. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the body, the material is supposed to be the body of C1 of the atlas. Actually, will contribute to the formation of the dense of the C2, the axis. So it has no body, the C1. Let's go to these uh, pop cell populations with uh, diverse uh, fate. <coughs> this is the dermatome. As the name suggests, this cell population will uh, differentiate into the dermis of the skin
the reddish one is the population called myotome. This will become the uh, skeletal muscles. Skeletal. of the body wall, of the dorsum, uh, of the limbs, and the most ventromedial population is called sclerotome, and it will differentiate the uh, into the bodies of vertebrae and also uh, ligaments and cartilage of the vertebrae and also ribs. So all this material has this uh, segmentation pattern but not all of this retains this pattern. If we make a frontal section through the human embryo with the body ectoderm on the surface with a notochord in the center, we I should have labeled it here. This is the notochord, by the way. This is the aorta. And this small cavity temporary one is called somito seal. I go back to this frontal ski frontal section. That shows the body ectoderm. The notochord And this uh, population of sclerotome, the cells undergo uh, transformation to mesenchyma cells. So there is a population of scler sclerotome cells on each side of the not not notochord. while the rest of the somide uh, still kind of retains this uh, segmentation, so it's the dermomyotome component, the corresponding dermomyotome with the myotome population in red, okay, and the dermatome population in yellow, etc. Uh, there will be spinal nerves growing and present on the section growing from the spinal cord on this level. And there will be uh, the intersegmental arteries from the aorta present here. By the way, this is also spinal cord. And neurocrest. So, uh, this is the sclerotome. And this is the dermomyotome, the corresponding dermomyotome. These are the intersegmental arteries. and the cell spinal nerves. Now on the next scheme we will see what, what happens. And there will be one more scheme, one more final scheme after the remodeling. So in the midline there will be the notochord, 
and the population of the sclerotome splits into a lower and upper half. So we got these two populations and the uh, adjacent sclerotome does the same thing, splitting into upper and lower half. The same occurs on the other side while the myotome retains the original segmentation pattern and the cells of the dermatome they will migrate into the skin contributing to the dermis so it starts to disint disintegrate and migrate into the skin. So what happens here is that the dermatome disintegrates and migrates to the skin. The myotome retains the original segmentation pattern while each uh, sclerotome splits into uh, upper half and lower half. And these uh, parts of the uh, sclerotome undergo what we call resegmentation of sclerotomes. Which means uh, the lower half of this sclerotome will fuse with the upper half of the, of the adjacent sclerotome and so on, to form the final uh, body of the vertebra. So the lower half of a cranial sclerotome will fuse with the upper half of the more caudal sclerotome, thus forming the body of vertebra. What is the consequence of this resegmentation? The consequence is that here we got only a half of this vertebra, but this vertebra will be like this, one more, and here will be part of the next vertebra. As the myotomes retain the original segmenta segmentation pattern, now the myotomes will form intervertebral muscles that connect the adjacent vertebrae. The only uh, component that uh, persists from the natal cord is the nucleus pulposus of the intervertebral disc. So each intervertebral disc has a nucleus pulposus. That's the 
remaining thing from the notal cord and we got the annulus fibrosus the fiber fibrous cartilage around it and we got the dermis here that fused from the many contributions of individual dermatomes So this is the epidermis, which is of ectodermal origin. This is the dermis from the my, uh, from the dermatome. Together, they form the skin. These are the intervertebral muscles. that retain the original segmentation pattern of the myotomes and of the somites. Uh, this is the uh, body of vertebra. This is the nucleus pulposus. Uh, that's what remains from the notochord. cord. This is the annulus fibrosus. Together, these two structures form the intervertebral disc. And uh, two more remarks. Why do we care about the resegmentation? Uh, it explains a lot from the anatomy, but also there might be developmental defects, uh, such as uh, half of the vertebrae called hemivertebra, or uh, different shapes of the bodies of vertebrae resulting from incomplete fusion of uh, these uh, these bodies and another remark will be another meaning of the word dermatome in medicine or in anatomy is the reticular area and it refers to the region to the skin region um, innervated by one uh, uh, spinal cord segment. So don't co don't confuse these two meanings of the same word, although they are linked, because uh, uh, although the cell populations from the embryonic dermatomes will fuse to to pr to form a continuous layer of dermis, these regions will retain their segmental innervation from the corresponding spinal cord segments.